Hello, you are watching E News Bulletin of IPR Department with me, Chiring Eden. Let's look at what's been making headlines in the past 24 hours. On Thursday, Governor of Sikkim, Ganga Prasad, paid homage to the mortal remains of late Kalu Singh Tamung at Singling Soaring. The Governor reached the residence of the Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamung and offered his prayers for the departed soul. He was accompanied by the Cabinet Ministers, DGP and other officials. Kalu Singh Tamung, the father of the Chief Minister, passed away on Wednesday morning at Siliguri. He was 93 years old. The funeral will take place on February 14th at Singling Soaring. The Chief Minister, through his social media post, has requested everyone to stay safe and condole the demise of his father from their homes. Under the Azadi Kamrut Mahotsav program, a two-day training workshop on one district, one product of minimally processed vegetables was conducted at the conference hall of the College of Agricultural Engineering Post-Harvest Technology Ranipool on Thursday. The program was organized by MSME Division Commerce and Industries Department in collaboration with Ministry of Food Processing Industries, Government of India, under Prime Minister formalization of Micro Food Processing Enterprises Scheme. The program focused on display of minimally produced vegetables from West Sikkim. The main objective of the program was to sensitize trainees about the marketing of their produce in India and abroad and convey knowledge about addition of value to food products through attractive packaging. The technical session also focused on producing mass food products to meet export demands. The program was attended by Commissioner Com Secretary Commerce and Industries Department HK Sharma, Director MSME M. Ravi Kumar, officials from the department, RBI, SBI professors from the college and SSG members. As per the latest order from the State Home Department issued on Thursday, all restrictions related to inter- and intrastate movement, requirement of production of RT-PCR negative report have been withdrawn. Further markets, shops, commercial establishments shall function as usual duly following COVID protocol. All state government offices, PSUs, boards, corporations under the state government shall function with 100% attendance with adherence to strict COVID protocol. All educational institutions shall function as per the guidelines issued by Education Department and HRD Ministry Government of India. Further, there shall be no restrictions on social, political, religious and and sports related gatherings. This clearly indicates that partial lockdown has now been lifted in Sikkim. However, our fight against COVID-19 is not over yet. It has been directed that everyone follow COVID appropriate behavior and continue wearing masks, washing hands regularly and maintaining physical distance wherever necessary. Any person violating the directives will be punished as per the rule under Disaster Management Act. Now let's look at the COVID figures in the country today. India saw a single day rise of 58,077 coronavirus infections. The daily COVID-19 cases are being recorded at less than 1 lakh for the last five consecutive days. And with 657 new fatalities, COVID-19 death toll reached 5.07 lakh or 1.19% of total confirmed infections. The national recovery rate has further improved to 97.17%, the health ministry said. India is now the 16th most affected country by active cases, third by deaths, second by total cases and recoveries. As far as vaccination is concerned, the cumulative doses administered in the country so far under the nationwide COVID-19 vaccination drive has exceeded 171.79 crore. In Sikkim, 43 new cases were reported on Wednesday with 3.9 positivity rate. That's all we have for today. Please like and follow our Facebook page, that is the Government of Sikkim official page for the most authentic news and information on recent developments in the government and the state. Thank you for tuning in.